Happy October. Greg Kaiser with Greg Kaiser Photography, and I'm out here at Outlawed Restorations doing a uh, project that I've been working on for a little bit, and this is actually my second time coming out. It's called Light Painting, hence the flashlight on the face. I uh, want to introduce you to my subject. This truck right here is going to be my subject. As you see, it is dark. Now I've got my camera set up. I've already done all of this. Um, I've got it set on bulb exposure, so I'm going to be able to go as long as I want to. F8 is the aperture. I've got it set auto white balance. Now my focus point, and I have to use a flashlight, is right there on the wheel. And as you see, when I put a flashlight on here, it changes things dramatically. So what we're going to do to actually do this light painting, because I've had several people ask, um, We've got everything set up, and I apologize for the lighting because, well, I am working in the dark, and I am all by myself, so that makes it a little difficult to do video. Um, but what I have got going on, I've got a um, remote release. Kind of see it there. Um, there we go. Let's, let's try this. There we go. My remote release. So I can actually lock the exposure, which is what I'm going to do. And it's on a 10-second timer. Let that dangle. And while that camera is doing its 10 second timer, I'm getting in position. And the exposure is starting. So what I will do is I will come through and actually light the truck bit by bit, very slowly. Now the shutter is actually open right now. And while the shutter's open, it's collecting light. Of course, pretty much the only light that I've got going on right now is the light from my flashlight, which is just a standard five cell, um, well, five D cell mag light. And it's incandescent. For me, that's very important. The LED lights are much bluer than I like. I like the warm tones. As you can see right here, I'm able to actually bathe the truck with all the light that I need exactly where I want it. Right now I'm putting some light on the inside just to get that uh, bench right there to expose. Pop a little bit over here on the side. And what you don't want to happen is, hang on, I'm running to the other side. Okay, what you don't want to happen is for the light to show up in the exposure. So as long as I am outside of the frame, when I've got the light on, I'm fine. I can actually run clear across this frame with the um, light off and it will not uh, expose me. I won't even register because the um, lighting is so dark out here. I won't register at all, so I'm a pure ghost. So what I'm doing out here, I'm just really paying attention to what I'm lighting. And right now this whole side is um, a big part of the composition so I'm making sure I get plenty of light over all the different surfaces now as you notice we've got a fairly long exposure going um, I'm running about two minutes and I've gotten one that I really like I'm just kind of showing you the process right now and this one may turn out good I don't know that's the thing with light painting it's always something different every attempt is always going to show something different. Now again, I'm actually walking across the exposure, but because I'm blacked out and it's dark, I'm not going to register. So we come back to the camera and we come down, we get the uh, remote and we turn that exposure off. And hey, that's actually pretty good. Let's see, zoom it back out so we can get a full screen here. Now that's what we just did, 153 seconds, so um, what, two and a half minutes. That's actually not bad, it's a little overexposed here on video, but that shows you kind of what light painting is and how to do it. Um, now I'm actually working on a way to do this as a workshop, but obviously having a bunch of flashlights running around would make it to be a very difficult workshop so it'd probably be a one-on-one -on -one thing but as you can see 
this is the problem that I run into a lot of times with this type of subject. We've got another vehicle right next to it. And by light painting, I can actually just really zoom in on what I want and concentrate on that. And there's actually a green Dodge back here and some other stuff that I don't want in the picture. This is what I want. And with light painting, I'm able to do it. So thanks for joining me. And uh, sorry for the dark quality, but we'll see uh, how this turns out. Be sure and check out the, fi the finished product at my blog at www.gkaiserphotography.com. Until next time, bye.